Okay, so here's something fun. So we're gonna plant some poppies real quick because it's April and uh, now's a good time to plant poppies. Uh, it's a little late actually. But uh, you know, see here I have some poppies. Uh, these have been here for probably a month. Uh, poppies like to be direct sown. They do not like their roots disturbed, so if you try them indoors and move them outside, it might not be successful. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we like to drug sow them. Uh, to, to germinate, poppies also need a period of freezing temperatures in order to germinate. Uh, I believe that's called scarification. Um, so a good trick to, to uh, get around that is these just spent the last month in my freezer uh, to replicate a uh, extended period of freezing temperatures. Um, so stick that one in your back pocket. Or sow in the fall and uh, you'll get you'll get these or you could just you know we have a mild winter here so it works to you know sow in the winter. Um, these are pink oriental poppies from my good friend Miss Barbara. Um, and I am very blessed that she was kind enough to share these with me. I don't know what these are. Um, I have been growing my own poppies. Uh, Zahir, the Hungarian type, the big purple uh, varietal, uh, for about five, six years now, and saving my own seeds and um, uh, propagating each year uh, my own. Uh, but last year I got a bunch of Peshawar white poppies, uh, Turkish giant pod poppies, um, and then Miss Barb was kind enough to share these oriental poppies with me. Uh, so we'll see what these are. These didn't get labeled, you know, as I have a habit of doing, not labeling, you know, see what it is. But here you see that I have, you know, I've been thinning them out as they go. You plant a bunch and then you thin them. As they come up, um, I might have accidentally buried some here when I was laying compost. C'est la vie. Uh, but, you know, there's one right here. There's, you know, some coming up. Uh, that is a weed. Um, yeah. They were all along this uh, area. I can't, I think that's, I think those are weeds. I had, yeah, I, bur I, bur I buried, I buried a bunch. But yeah. So anyway, um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to just take a little trench here, try and keep our line. Like that. How's that? Okay. So this is our line right here. Uh, got a little gap right here, and then we'll just all the way down. Let's see if we can fix this little mistake of mine. There's our keys. people that live this so this is this is bear camp and uh, a couple people live up here uh, along with bear so there's always somebody up here it's fun um, there's many people that live up here all right we got some friggin poppies Okay, so we'll just, um, cover that back up, and then, um, you know, if it, if, since there is this cold front and rain front coming in, uh, I'm not super worried about it, um, if it was going to be dry, I would have wet this first, and then, um, and then so, so that way it would have already been evenly moist, and uh, 
the seeds would have just gone directly in. But, you know, uh, right now I'm going to let nature take care of it. Uh, we put extra seed down, so, you know, no big deal. Um, poppies don't... Poppies are low maintenance. They're super easy. They're super, super easy. Um, and it's really easy to uh, overcomplicate cultivating poppies. Um, they really, uh, this might even be like too rich of an environment for them. I've grown them in composted, uh, composted native soil like this and they did well. Um, but typically uh, they, they are known for not, not liking um, really rich soil. Uh, they, do, they, do, they do okay, they do just fine in uh, less than rich soil. So, um, yeah, they don't like a ton of water either, so that's cool. So we still got a good bit of poppy seed, and we got a big gap over there uh, that I must have buried. So let's should produce the really small flower heads with the very, very delicate petals. Uh, not like the Icelandic ones. Those are rad. I would like some of those. Um, but these are going to be smaller than uh, the Zahir or the um, Peshawar White. Smaller pods, for sure. See those pop up here in a little bit. Au revoir.